trying to kill a little time but you know if I hum I probably won't get demonetized but you know sometimes I get carried away um but um I want to remind you of something family this is real important that we remember remember that victory has a thousand fathers okay but defeat is an orphan. Okay? Victory has a thousand fathers and defeat is an orphan. So that lets you know just how hypocritical this society is. Okay, so whatever we're going through and whatever we're dealing with, um, Remember, that's the crux of it. That's the yin and yang of it. You know, if you want to accept the sunny days, you have to accept the rain. It's just like, it, and it is the truth. Now, this story I want to talk about, I get kind of emotional about it, and I have to take my emotions out in order to be able to talk about it because this is a situation where I think this young man, uh, there should be some reservations made for a young troubled young man who was following his father for what he knew to be a father. And y'all always talk about how important the father and son relationship is, okay? And how the father can lead the son into doing desperate things sometimes. And we're not talking about a 30-year-old son, but we're talking about a young impressionable 15, 14, you know, 16-year-old young man. And what he got caught up in. Am I making any excuses for him? Because by the same token, all the families that they had um, put the I guess the sorrow train on, I, I have to acknowledge their pain as well. But with that being said, John Muhammad was more responsible than this young man, uh, Lee Boy Malpo. So Maryland's highest court on Friday ordered that the younger of the two Beltway snipers be resentenced for several fatal shootings that he committed, saying a review of Lee Malpo's punishments was appropriate given new constitutional protections for juvenile uh, convicted crimes. The court said, however, it is highly unlikely that Malvo would ever be released from custody as he is also serving separate life sentences for the murders in Virginia. Malvo, who is now 37, has a long convicted, uh, was long ago, I'm sorry, convicted, with his partner, John Allen Muhammad. Now listen to that. Now he's his partner, as opposed to the man that presented himself pretty much like a stepfather that was going with his mother. You know, I don't like the wording of these um, uh, uh, media sometimes, most times, hell, yeah, most times. In the killings of six people in Maryland and four people in Virginia, uh, that happened in tw um, 2002. Okay. 
He was 17 at the time of their rampage that terrorized the Washington region. In the years since, a series of court rulings and new laws have reflected society's evolving views on juvenile justice. A juvenile can no longer be sentenced to life without the possibility of parole, as the Maryland court wrote Friday. If the crime reflected the transient immaturity rather than the permanent incorrigibility. By a 4-3 majority, the Maryland Court of Appeals ruled that when Malvo received the harshest punishment possible in Maryland, six terms of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole, the Montgomery County sentencing judge never explicitly made a finding that his crimes reflected irreparable corruption. The court ordered Malvo to go back before the uh, Montgomery County judge to be resentenced. Montgomery County State's Attorney John McCarthy said Friday that he will seek the maximum sentences um, for uh, Malvo. I don't know if he will ever get out of Virginia if we will ever see him um, McCarthy said, but we will seek sentences that will keep him locked up in Maryland uh, for life if he ever did make it back here. The court acknowledged that its ruling may make no difference in the amount of time Malvo will stay behind bars and said the debate over Malvo's original sentencing in Maryland may be an academic question because of his murder convictions in Virginia. He would uh, first have to be granted parole in the Virginia case before uh, his consecutive life sentences in Maryland ever even begin, Judge Robert M. McDonald wrote for a majority. Ultimately, it is not for this court to decide the appropriate sentence for Mr. Malvo or whether he should ever be released from his Maryland sentences. We hold that only uh, the Eighth Amendment requires that he receive a new sentencing hearing at which the sentencing court, now cognitive of, uh, of the principles elucidated by the Supreme Court, is able to consider whether or not he is constitutionally eligible for life without parole under those decisions. The court also noted that when Malvo was sentenced in Maryland, the judge reflected on Malvo's apparent change for, a better, for the better since his arrest and the hideous natures of his crime. Of course, he was only 17. Under the influence of a, a so-called, you know, wayward Muslim. After you met John Muhammad and became uh, influenced by him, your chances for a successful life became worse than they already were, the judge said at the time. You could have been somebody different. You could have been better. What you are, however, is a convicted murderer. You knowingly, willingly, and voluntarily participated in the cowardly murders of innocent, defenseless human beings. McDonald was joined in the majority uh, by Judges Bringer, M. Booth, Jonathan Bryant. I got a real serious problem with this case, like I told y'all. Um, I, you know, now let me just keep it real. This young man, if you're going to give him 20 years for being an accessory to that crime, then that's what you should give him. You didn't already kill John. You gave him the death sentence. That young man, had he been a white man, he wouldn't even been in jail. If this same situation was probably reversed, he probably wouldn't even be in jail. It's just, you know what I'm saying? So this right here, I can already see the racism in it because him being 17, 16 years old is different than any young white man being 16, 17 year old. I'm not talking about a poor white man. Okay? 
I'm talking about a white man by well-to-do means or has people in, in places that can get him out of this. Okay, I'm not talking about no poor white trash. Okay? Now, at, this, at the end of the day, this right here is, this man was, has been locked up for 20 years already. He was a boy when he went in. There's already scientific proof that says that your brain is constantly still growing until you're like 25, 26 years old. So I'm not saying that, you know, he shouldn't have been uh, uh, held accountable. And this is my opinion. But I'm saying he didn't already did 20 years, ain't he? How, you know, who y'all get, y'all throw time around like it ain't shit. Um, and I think that there's a lot more considerations that need to be taken into consideration when you sentence some people to all this stuff, you know, because really <clears throat> y'all should, you know, some of y'all shouldn't be in a position to determine how many years a person gets to spend in a prison. And I mean some of y'all judges. Like those of y'all that go home at night and call people niggers and all that kind of stuff. You know, those kind. And you get to have us come before you. And you make a dis decision or a judgment on how much time we should get. That's why I said this whole system has got to be shaken up. It's got to be because I'm not saying I'm making excuses for what this guy did. I want y'all to hear me. I'm saying for him to never ever ever get out of not get out of prison is very difficult for me to wrap my arms around. And um how much time you you the the, the main culprit, the mastermind behind the whole madness rampage is dead. You killed him. He 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 got his punishment. Y'all executed him. So the boy that was with him deserved the same fate. Or he get deserved to spend the rest of his life in jail. And that's the come up. I don't know. I think it leads a little bit more evaluation of how we do it in this judicial, in this justice system. Because we already know it's just us. But there's no common sense in it. Justice is blind. I don't know. Maybe she don't want to see the shit that's going on. Maybe that's what it is. Excuse my French. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. All right. <clears throat> Again, he's going to be sentenced. Mr. Malvo is going to be um, resentenced in his role in the Maryland them killings. And he's now 37 years old. He's a fully grown man now. All right, family. I'll see you in the next video.